What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing a haul. So I want to share with you guys what I bought recently because I've been spending some money, you know? I've always liked haul videos. When I first started watching YouTube, those were the videos I loved to watch. If I saw somebody posting about a Sephora haul and Ulta haul, I was like, click. I love seeing what people buy because one, it's so fascinating and two, because it gives me ideas on what to buy. Everything in this haul is of course beauty related. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you aren't already subscribed as well as hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So if you guys want to see what I spent my money on, then please just keep on watching. By the way, I know my hair is super frizzy. I didn't put any product in it today. I don't know why, but it's like freshly washed hair. I washed it today. And do you guys ever feel like freshly washed hair is just meh? Like it's so boring. I feel like it's too soft to even do anything with. And I just didn't feel like putting any product in it. So I have a frizzy mess today. But the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is what I got off Kale Polish. If you guys didn't know, Kale Polish is Kathleen Light's nail polish line. And I've been wanting to order from her line for so long now, but I just haven't because sometimes when you can only get stuff online, I am a procrastinator when it comes to ordering online. I don't know why I just hate paying for shipping. Well, that is why I hate paying for shipping. So that's the reason why it took me so long to order from her line. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bite the bullet and order. I ordered six nail polishes and these are the colors that I purchased. They are freaking beautiful. First off, can we just take a moment for the packaging? I love the black cap. I love the square bottle. It is just so pretty and so sleek. And I really like that the cap is rubberized. It's usually that plastic. Why did I just go like this? Typically nail polish bottles have plastic caps and that can make it hard to open the polish sometimes. So I am wearing one of the polishes on my nails right now. I am wearing Gum Would Be Perfection. And if you guys don't know what this name is from, it's a quote from a TV show. We can't be friends okay it's just we cannot be friends because you need to know what this quote is from this first color that i picked up is south peach this is from her summer collection from last year i love it it's really an orange creamsicle shade and i cannot wait to wear this in the summertime the next one i got is miss honey which it's a really pretty mauvey nude the next one i got is miss kensington and this is from her spring collection this is her most recent collection it's a really pretty mint color but it's not like really minty it has a hint of blue which i do like it's not green and then the next color i got is snickerdoodle which is actually one of her original releases when she first released her brand and it's such a pretty nude color i think that everyone needs a nude i was gonna say a nude eyeliner everybody needs a nude nail polish in their collection whether you paint your nails or not you need it in your collection because the day may come where you need a new nail polish then the next one is a Gum Would Be Perfection. This is, again, what I have on my nails right now. And this is also from her new spring collection. So this year's collection, these two came out together. And then the last one I got is Coconut Milk. And this one, I think, is from her last spring collection. And it's not a complete white shade. It is off-white, which I really do like. Sometimes I don't like a stark white. It looks like white out. I totally want to grab her entire collection, like every nail polish. I'm just like, gimme, gimme, gimme. I have a feeling I'm never going to want to use another brand after this because I just love her formula. It's so fast drying from the two that I've tried. And I think her color selection. So the next two products I did pick up at Target and they do fall in the nail category. The first one is the INM Top Coat because I've been using the Secha Vite one. I think that's how you say it. Honestly, I don't even know. Um, and I like it, but it's very thick. I think it makes my nail polish wear off at the tips a little bit, and I don't really like that. So this one is really nice. It's a thin formula. I used it yesterday. So, so far, so good. I really do like it. I think it was $4.99, and I'm always on the hunt for a good top coat. And the next thing I got is the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. Now, if you do your own manicures at home, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this. So the whole point of this product is that so you can dissolve your cuticles without having to go in and cut your cuticles. So with this product, you just put it around around your nail bed and you let it sit for 15 seconds and then you start pushing your cuticles back and use like a nail scraper a nail scraper you use a cuticle pusher and you just start to push your cuticles back and the dead skin just comes right off and let me tell you this thing is a godsend you guys it's so easy and so fast it will cut your manicure time down significantly because it saves time trimming cuticles okay so moving on i do follow a makeup artist on instagram her instagram name is verg mua 
I don't know if it's Verge or Verg MUA, but I will leave it on the screen. And she's a makeup artist, just like a beauty influencer type person. And she did come out with her own lash line. And she came out with three different styles and she actually made them in sizes so like small medium large and, and they all look the same they're just different sizes so i did purchase one pair and i purchased the large and they're just so pretty like they're the perfect amount of drama and they have the perfect amount of wispiness i also do have a clear band which i think is really good for anybody who's new to lashes and is scared to work with a thick black band they do have a clear band cannot wait to use those so the next bunch of products i want to show you are from ulta and the first thing i picked up is the mac fix plus i picked up two because i ran out of mac fix plus so long ago like a really long time ago and i just never repurchased it because it's $26 and I know that sounds so cheap of me because there are sprays that are more than what this costs but I swear the last time I bought this it was like $24 or maybe $21. I could totally be lying like I don't know maybe it was always $26 but I don't think so and that just kind of made me ugh not want to buy it. The next thing you know it's going to be $30 and the price is just going to keep climbing climbing and climbing and I'm over here trying to save money you feel me? But yeah the point of the story is that I did pick up two fixed pluses because they were on sale for the 25 days of Christmas what the hell and this is what fix plus looks like if you guys don't know if anybody doesn't know so i really like it it's such a staple product if you so the next product that i picked up is actually one that i've never used before i think i used the original one a long time ago but it is the urban decay primer potion in eden now the reason why i got eden was because it is a concealer type shade which I love. If you watch my tutorials, you know that I'm always using my Tarte Shave Tape to prime my lids. And I really like that because it's full coverage and it cancels out all the discoloration. So that's why I wanted to get the Eden one because I hope it's going to work similar to that. And I really hope I like this. So that is that. And the next thing I picked up is just another NYX Matte Black Liquid Liner. This is my holy, holy grail. I actually love the NYC Black Liquid Liner, but... They discontinued it, which is insane to me because it was $3, and actually now I don't even think you can get it anywhere, which totally sucks, but NYX is just as good. And the next product I picked up is just a basic black eyeliner. This is the LA Girl Gel Glide On one, and I really like gel pencils for my waterline, so I wanted to grab this to see how I like it. I'm always on the hunt for a new black eyeliner. You can never have too many, and I really hope this stays in the waterline. And I picked up two new duo glues. I absolutely love this glue. I always use this one, and I wanted to grab a black because... Because I've actually never used a black eyelash glue and I feel like it'll just be so convenient when I don't want to have to like cover up the dried glue you know because sometimes I get lazy like if you use duo and you are not using the brush on and you're using the squeezy tube what are you doing reevaluate your life first of all it smells like fish it's absolutely disgusting and second of all it's just hard to use because the squeezy tube you squeeze out too much and then it gets everywhere and I just hate that one and I feel like it takes forever to dry this one, on the other hand, is freaking amazing. You just brush it on, and it brushes on blue, and then it starts to dry clear. The last thing that I picked up from Ulta is actually two pairs of eyelashes, and they are both the Eyelore and Vegas Nay collaboration. These are the Luxe Collection ones. I got Platinum Princess and Bronze Beauty, and they are so pretty. I really like Bronze Beauty. I cannot wait to use these. Platinum Princess is also really pretty. I got them because, I mean, I don't know, I want to try them. But I really, really, really like Bronze Beauty. I love either lashes. I feel like I tell you guys this all the time, but maybe I don't say it, but I feel like I say it. But I love Eyelore Lashes. They are my favorite lashes from the drugstore besides Kiss. So I actually do have a couple other things from Ulta I didn't realize because they were in a different box. The first thing is the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C2. I did a video on this concealer comparing it to the Tarte Shape Tape. And I was using C3. And I was like, oh my god, it's so pink, blah, blah, blah. Because then when I went online, I got the one with the pink undertones. Like, way to go, Mel. So this one is more yellow undertone, which I really like. It's just one shade down. I also went through the other one so freaking fast, I can't even believe it. I went to use it the other day, and I was, like, scraping for product. So I do have a new one, and I really do like this. The next thing I got is a new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Soft Ivory. This is my favorite foundation ever, and I was actually running low. Not even running low, actually. I was freaking empty, so I did just re-up on that. So the last thing I got is the Makeup Revolution Palette in collaboration with Soph. At first, I had no idea who Soph was, and then I looked up reviews. She's Soph does nails. She's British, so I guess maybe that's why I haven't really heard of her. And I actually haven't seen any influencers using this palette. Um, the only influencers that I have seen use it are, like, British YouTubers and stuff like that because she is British. So I saw this on Ulta.com, and I was like, oh, my God, this is such a stunning palette. And they also came out with a highlighter palette together, and that was in my cart. And I waited too long to purchase, and it sold out. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? 
Are you kidding me? I guarantee you nobody was going to buy that until they saw that shit was in my cart. And then they were just like, check out. All right, Melissa, you missed your chance. And I was so pissed because it was freaking beautiful. So I love the box. This is super duper cute. And oh my gosh, this feels so nice. This is what it looks like. I wish you guys can feel it. It's like a matte packaging. It's so luxurious. Like I feel like this is luxury for the drugstore. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Oh my God, I hope nothing's broken. Do you guys ever get a palette in the mail and there's little like eyeshadow remnants on the edges? It looks like it almost broke, but it didn't. That is what this looks like right now. So this is what the palette looks like and it is so, so beautiful. I really like this. I cannot wait to play with this. The middle colors right here are really standing out to me and they're just so pretty. I love that you get your nice neutrals and you get a little bit of color. I don't want to swatch any of these shadows because I do want to do a video on this. I want to do a review slash first impression slash tutorial because I've never used any Makeup Revolution eyeshadows and I know that they typically make eyeshadows that are like dupes for high-end palettes but this one isn't. It's a totally fresh idea which I really like so I cannot wait to play with this and see what it's like. So if you follow me on Instagram which by the way if you don't you totally should you would know that my BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette palette is well loved. I use that for all of my colorful looks and I'm always doing colorful looks on my Instagram. So I really, really love that palette. So I was like, mm, let me order some more. My first ever super colorful eyeshadow palette was actually from BH and it was the 88 color matte palette. So I did purchase three palettes from them and the first one is the Glam Reflection Gilded palette. Let me just say this packaging is Stunning. I love the gold. Super pretty. The packaging for all of the Glam Reflection palettes is actually so beautiful. I love this gold. The one that I really wanted was the smoky one. It's like the really cool tone palette, but they did not have it. It was sold out. I'm like, oh, of course. So I did end up getting the gilded one, which looks like this. The mirror is so good. I really love when palettes have nice mirrors like this. And the shades alone are just so freaking beautiful. I haven't swatched any of these, so let's go ahead and swatch some. So here are four swatches. I swatched three shimmers and one matte and holy shit. Look at that freaking matte you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just No freaking way, bro. Oh my god. That is beautiful. Okay Ooh. Oh, I love that one. Okay, that was so bad because it got some of the brown in it, but oh my god. Can we take a minute for that pink shade? Oh my god. Freaking beautiful. I cannot wait to play with this and I cannot wait to see how these perform on the eyes because to the touch, they feel so buttery and so creamy. So I'm super excited. This next palette I knew that I had to have as soon as I saw that they were coming out with this. And if you guys can guess, I'll give you a second. Take a guess. Okay, it is the weekend festival palette. Can we take a minute for the beautiful beautiful packaging? Oh my god, this screams festival this screams sunset Well, I mean hello it is a sunset, but oh my god It makes me want to do a sunset look right now and I love that it comes in this little Sleeve super cute. It shows you a palette on the back. This is the inside. Oh, oh my god. This is what it looks like Oh my god mouth watering okay literally when i look at this i'm in love like i'm so obsessed with these colors right here is calling my name as well as the magenta the purple the yellow the lime green just the whole entire palette when i placed the order for this palette i did take a poll on instagram asking if you guys want to see a tutorial and so many people said yes well actually all of the votes were yes i am going to be doing a look with this beautiful palette so keep an eye out because it's about to get colorful up. So I don't want to swatch any of the shadows right now because I do want to do that in the video and give you guys kind of like a first impressions tutorial as well. So stay tuned for my thoughts on this palette. So this last palette that I ordered from BH is actually a palette that I've had my eye on for a while, but I was like kind of debating and I was like, eh, do I need it? Do I not need it? Do I need it? But this one, I just bit the bullet and I ordered it. It is the BH Studio Pro palette. This palette is pretty big, but I really like that because you do get a bunch of staple shades in it. So when I did get these delivered, of course I opened them just to make sure nothing was broken or anything like that. And unfortunately a shadow in this one did come broken. I was so sad, but they do give you this little protector piece, which actually I thought these were the names of the shadows and it's not. It literally just tells you shimmer matte, shimmer matte, which hello, I can see, but whatever. So this is the color right here that did come broken, but I mean, it's okay. It wasn't completely shattered. I just pressed it back in, but this is the palette and it is absolutely stunning. You get so many different colors 
and you can get endless looks with this palette the only thing i will say i don't like is the packaging it is a little cheap plastic so you can see right here that it has this little button and that's how you push it to open it but the only thing is it doesn't open up like the urban decay ones do so here it has a push button and it just pops open on its own of course the packaging isn't going to be as good as i mean a 65 dollars urban decay palette but so what you do is just push and then lift i mean it is kind of a pain in the ass i'm not gonna lie and i just feel like this will break off so easily and it feels so lightweight like i don't know i just wish the packaging was a little bit heavier like what i really love about this palette is that you get warm tones cool tones color you get everything in here you get shimmers mattes foils and i think it's such a pretty staple palette one thing i want to point out is that the numbers on the back on some of the shadows they are pressed pigments and they are not intended for use around the immediate eye area i'm a bold ass bitch so i'm still gonna go ahead and use them on my eyes because i mean so the last product that i want to share with you guys isn't something that i purchased with my own money i actually did receive it in pr my first ever pr package so this is from sample beauty if you guys have never heard of them they are a uk brand they were a private label company but now they are expanding into making their own cosmetics and their own formulations which i think is great so they added me to their pr list for their first ever palette and it's called the cult palette and it is so beautiful you guys I cannot wait to play with this. This is what it looks like. I think it is super sleek. It gives me like vampire vibes because it's black with the red. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. This is what the inside looks like. I saw on their Instagram, and which is something I really like about this palette, they did formulate these shadows to work with one another. So when I say work with one another, I don't mean just blend into one another. I mean you can literally combine two colors to make another color. Sometimes with shadows you can do that but they'll get muddy with this one You can literally combine them and make a purple a green, you know all those colors I'm, I'm blanking off the top of my head you like follow me on Instagram You know polls are like my favorite thing to do ever I just love hearing people's feedback and like their opinions So I do polls all the time But I took a poll and asked you guys if you want to see a tutorial with this palette and everyone said yes So I'm totally gonna be filming a tutorial with this and I just want to give a shout out to sample beauty Thank you so 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 much for sending me this palette I cannot wait to play with it and See what I come up with so that wraps up my beauty haul I really wanted to share these products with you guys and hopefully you guys found something that maybe you want to purchase and spend some money on because I like to spend money you spend money so we can spend money together you know and we thank you guys so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed comment subscribe and share and I will see you guys in my next one